Hey everybody, this is Stormy with the capital Z. Welcome back to another Warcraft 3 audio commentary. This time around, we got a game on Last Refuge. So, this game is going to be between little DC spawning as the Blue Nidal player at the bottom left location of this map. And we're going to change this to the referee sensation. On the top right, the colors are already red and blue. On the top right, we got uh, Anti Monitor, who is also known as X3 Demon, spawning as the blue human player. So, this is going to be human versus Night Elf on Last Refuge. And, uh, Last Refuge, sorry. Uh, Night Elf player sending out the Engine of War towards the creep camp, uh, spawning it right there. And uh, so, going over the games, I picked this game up from. Warcraft3.info, it's a great uh, replay site, and I believe this game is from uh, an event known as uh, GG. I gotta check that up actually. Okay, Woody is like, I support the Night Elf, let's see what happens. Let's see who gets a victory. We have uh, X Demon, or rather Anti Monitor, going in for a complete wall off with the human player. Archmage is going to be a hero. On the Nidal side, we got uh, Demon Hunter. So, yeah, the game is uh, from an event known as GG uh, G's Season 1, something like that. I need to check that up actually. Uh, Archer is spawning, and uh, we got the game rolling in. And also, this uh, amazing interface is by w3booster.com. It's uh, an amazing app, gives you a lot of details as you can see to, uh, as on the top uh, left and top right. Basically, the top bar is converted into a nice uh, interface. You also get more things when you play uh, as a single player. As we have this creeping beginning over here, taking all the damage on the big uh, Angel of War. A scout uh, is, is right outside the human's base. This is going to actually give, uh, give the human, uh, give the Nidal player a lot of uh, information of whenever the human player gets out of his base and comes back in. We got Mountain King. Uh, ah, Mountain King. A footman. That's a footman, not a Mountain King. A footman coming in. Uh, going to detect that wisp. Uh, Demon Hunter is out, and it appears that one building was cancelled over here by the Nidal player. I heard something like that. The creeping over here will be successful by the female Demon Hunter. Gloves of Haste. Uh, pretty good item for a Demon Hunter, and we have uh, X Demon here, X3 Demon, going in for a rather safer camp. Normally, you would see human players go for a power creeping on this camp, but uh, that's not what X Demon went for. He went for a rather safer camp, uh, tried to creep out the green camp while uh, coming in with the Malicious, which is uh, a power creeping in other words. Well, I could say uh, that another advantage that human players do tend to get in a scenario like that is that uh, your peasants are not pulled away from your gold mine. I mean, this is something that I've experienced personally as we have, uh oh, a little DC demon hunter is pretty, pretty weak. You gotta be, have to be careful with that thing. He does know at least that the human player is not anywhere nearby, so he's taking that risk and I wouldn't say this risk is worth it, man. Getting your Demon Hunter to like 40 HP, uh uh, man, I don't really like that move. As we have Scout, Footman, and Archer meeting up in the middle of the uh, map somewhere. Footman is going to chase away the Archer. It is night time, this is the time when Nidal players can Shadow Melt and the Moon Wheels will regenerate faster, so. Uh, Archmage is sitting at 2.2 level, Demon Hunter at uh, 2.4. Both of them are having pretty much similar items. Uh, Nobody is currently any much ahead or anything like that. Demon Hunter just uh, drank some moon juice as we can see and uh, he's near the shop right now. Gonna buy a circlet probably or boots of speed. Boots of speed is definitely needed for the Demon Hunter to pick off weaker uh, units. Going to go right after those footmen and yeah one footman will definitely go down in this fight because of that uh, boots of speed. I think that was an attempt by little DC to... Uh, I'm just, I, uh, attempt by X Monitor to try and block the Demon Hunter, and he did. Body blocking working very well in favor of the human player. Uh oh, here comes the archers. Gonna have to be super careful. Don't want to lose any footmen over there. They're not gonna be that big of a uh, loss, but anyways, you don't really want that to happen. Anyways, we got a blacksmith coming in. No shop there for the human player, though. I mean, he's not gonna be able to go in there and uh, heal away his uh, units right away. We don't have any shop for the Nidal player either, but uh, Nidal players do have the Moon Wheels to heal away. Uh, elemental may get picked off now the thing is elementals also give you good amount of experience points but this X elemental will be saved it appears all right we got uh what are you commenting something i made a 1v1 with the new 
uh, with a any few days uh, ago he put his wisp behind my base but luckily I seen it I'm curious if he does the same hmm speaking of that yeah that is a really good strategy that uh, Nidal players tend to use they can just send their wisps around and they can just have like if you see a map like a spot like this if you have your wisp planted here there is less chances that your enemy will see it like he has to like be able to notice it if you're not pro enough you won't notice things like that and i like this uh moonwell surround on the ancient uh ancient of uh that's not ancient the uh, altar of uh, elders and uh we got a uh, huntress hall being spawned at the back side of the base here uh archmage heading in going to deal some damage on that uh entangled gold mine gonna have to be careful with that big tree big tree is already upgraded here comes the demon hunter once again gonna go right after the footman here comes the archers it is night time the advantage of the night player one archer gets ticked off level three on that demon hunter archmage is currently sitting at level two now here's the thing i mean we are talking a lot uh, during this whole scenario and i'm not really agree agreed with uh, what x3 demon did he just picked up uh, one of his footmen that's a good move so he didn't go for any kind of creeping whatsoever he just kept his uh archmage at uh, level uh two that's not really a good thing to do and uh oh this is not good both of the players picking tavern heroes uh, which is the naga siege and uh, immediately little dc went after the naga siege of uh, x3 demon now x3 did a nice really pro move over there as well uh like you have uh, i mean certain scenarios just give you so much pressure that you it's hard for you to actually decide what you want to do but x3 demon put the tp into the inventory of uh the naga siege and then uh, got the Naga Siege used that TP. That was a great move to save both of the heroes as both of them were pretty pretty weak. Now uh, he's pulling away the creeps from the goblin lab. Now the thing is uh, Lil DC has knowledge of this. Lil DC has this uh, wisp here. X-Demon probably has seen this but has uh, done pretty much nothing about it. Now the thing is that uh, that uh, wisp can actually go in there and actually detonate on all over the heroes where that'll actually go that's, that's gonna remove the mana and oh detonation exactly what I was talking about. So less mana on the Archmage. He does have Brilliance Aura but that's just level 1 Brilliance Aura of course and uh, Archmage is not even level 3 yet. Little DC coming in and uh, this is not a really good position for X3 Demon to get sniped, uh, intercepted. Uh, he's still continuing to creep over though. He's trying to try and surround the Ogre Magi and not going to kill it. We had a momentary hesitation over there by X Demon and oh, oh this time there will be no uh, town portals but there was a potion of healing to save that Naga Siege. So that uh, Ogre Magi after all the hard work of the human player was picked up by Lil DC the Nidal player and we got a melee going on here uh, for troll trapper is also alive there one footman game picked off and militia is being pulled in level two on that naga sea witch archmage nearing level three uh two more kills two more creep kills or something will definitely give the archmage level three so far the game has been action packed i like it so far uh, an arcane uh the flute of accuracy being picked up by the naga sea witch that's actually a rather good item i would say for nidals and oh uh oh demon hunter is low human player is going in for the engagement but Instead of targeting the Demon Hunter, he's targeted the Druid of the Claw. I'm not sure, but, uh, well, the Demon Hunter could have TP'd and he did have a potion. So I guess, uh, yeah, that was definitely the better decision. It was definitely better for um, X3 Demon to go after the bear instead of going for the Demon Hunter and uh, be super greedy because the Demon Hunter had the potion of uh, invulnerability, had the TP to run back. And also, if the bear survived, the bear could have used rejuvenation as adept training is already complete over here. Uh, using the artificial knight and gonna have to be careful has a lot of riflemen ready and that's a lot of pressure on the nidal player nidal player is standing uh, like only uh, I mean nidal player is only with a lot of uh, um, archers right now there's not a lot of uh, not a lot of forward units nothing uh, that can deal like significant amount of damage to whatever the human player has right now and archmage is already level 3 and the game is actually turning into the favor of x3 demon lil dc is staggering right now and oh, what do we have here militia men being pulled here is he gonna try and set up a uh, tower rush no he's gonna try and set up a shop and what's he doing is he gonna buy um 
things from the shop? Yeah, he's definitely gonna buy things from the shop, but he, is he gonna get uh, towers from the shop? I guess he is, as uh, when Bear got, got picked off, Lil DC is in a tight position. Naga Siege is using Potion of Invulnerability and uh, only two peasants remain. One is uh, attacking and one was uh, still building that uh, structure. They all, the Arcane Vault will be complete. I like the strategy. Fork Lightning being uh, used over there from the Nidal player and these peasants are being picked up one by one and leveled up. That Demon Archer is level 4 right now. Uh, is he gonna pick up the towers? I mean, you built an Arcane Vault, now put up the towers. You need those towers now. You're trying to do a tower, from what I understand. Nidal Bear targeting away those priests, and one more archer being picked off. The Nagasi Witch is low. Nagasi Witch using a potion of uh, healing. Great play there by both players, and uh oh, who's gonna die first? Archmage dies! Demon Archer gonna use the TP, and oh. That's major damage, and X-Demon taps out. Good game. That was a short game, although I really enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, thank you for listening, and uh, just gonna go over these a bit. And we're gonna go to the other game that we wanted to cast. I'm going to stop the recording here, and I'm gonna start it once again for the other game.